So five running backs I want to get going into week seven. And this week we got some intriguing guys on there. Last week there was not many running backs. I was excited to try to claim off waivers. And this week we got a decent amount. Number one guy, he's owned in most of my leagues. But it's DeAndre Swift of the Detroit Lions. He had his coming out party versus uh, the Jacksonville Jaguars this week. He had 27 fan points, 12 carries for 116 yards and a touchdown, and he had a receiving touchdown as well, I believe. So DeAndre Swift, strong, quick rookie. This guy, he, he could win your leagues down the line, man. And he had a big fantasy game yesterday. Him and Peterson, it looks like, is at a split. You know, Peterson's not going to get the reception work. So Swift already in that passing downs role. And now if he could get 12 to 15 carries a week and the passing downs, well, Peterson mixed in with 10 carries a game, I think Swift's going to be a great pickup. If he's not already owned, you got to jump on him. He's definitely my number one priority going into the week is DeAndre Swift. Number two, Boston Scott. This depends on Miles Sanders too, though. Sanders banged up. He left the game in the third quarter for Philly versus uh, Baltimore Ravens. So Sanders banged up even the last few weeks. He hasn't been that productive. One big run to make his fantasy day. And we saw that again yesterday where he fumbled. And luckily the Eagles picked it up in the end zone to get the touchdown. But Scott, we saw him last year fill in when Sanders was out a few games. He looked good. He could catch the ball out of the backfield. Quick running back between the tackles. And this week, it's a quick turnaround for the Eagles. This game, Thursday night versus the Giants. If Sanders is out, you got to go out there and you got to get Scott. And you can plug him right into your lineup with a lot of bye weeks coming up. Scott is the guy to get. And if Sanders is out a great amount of time, and you do fab also, I would uh, put... 40% of my fab on the line to try to get Scott because you know he's going to get the work. The competition's him and Corey Clement, but I think Scott will be the guy there. He's the primary backup as we saw yesterday. He came in for Sanders. So he's definitely my number two back going into week seven waivers to get number three, J.D. McKissick. We know he was getting the passing downs work, but now they got him into the offense more even yesterday versus the Giants. McKissick 14-40 fantasy points. And McKissick looking good. He's looking quick. He's got a good matchup versus Dallas. Next week going into week seven, a team that has trouble versus quick running backs and give up a lot of yards on the ground and catches out of the backfield. So J.D. McKissick, if he's out there, you definitely got to go out there and go scoop him up. He's my third priority on the waiver list. Washington's going to be trailing in a lot of games. I know Gibson's there, but McKissick, a better receiver out of the backfield than the last two weeks on the ground. Also, he's looked better. He's J.D. McKissick, so I think he'll be out there. He's 31% only owned, I think, in Yahoo. So go out there and get him. He's a good flex or number two back to put in during these tough bye weeks and injuries as they pile up at the running back position all season. So J.D. McKissick, my number three ad, my number four guy to add for this week going into week seven. It's actually a committee in San Francisco. If McKinnon's out there, I don't know if he is. People might have dropped him after Mostert came back last week. But you got McKinnon, this kid Hasty, who uh, looked good, and he was getting big fourth quarter carries to close the game out the rookie looking good in between the tackles and he's looking quick and he fits that 49er system and you got Jeffrey Wilson Jr. too who we saw a few weeks ago have a big game versus the Giants with 23 fantasy points so San Francisco backup situation if you could grab one of these guys if most starts a serious injury you definitely got to go out there and get him because most already got ruled out pretty quick in that game and you saw him on the sidelines frustrated the rest of the night. Mostert's a great running back, but with his injury concerns, I don't know if you could trust him anymore, and I don't know if he could carry the full workload anymore. He'll just be in a committee back there. So any of these San Francisco running backs, I would rank it probably McKinnon one, Wilson if he gets healthy because he was a 
banged up scratch last night versus the Rams. And then Hasty, I would go in the order. But yeah, if McKinnon's out there, you'll go get him for sure. But I think he'll split with Wilson if Mo starts out a decent amount of time because McKinnon's got his injury history too. And he can only handle about 12 to 15 carries, I could say. So the 49er running backs are fourth on my priority list. And the number fifth guy, he might be out there if the waivers are completed this week is Cam Akers. For some reason, they keep giving Malcolm Brown work. And he didn't look good last night at all for San Francisco. Henderson, he looked pretty quick and swift in his game last night with 90 yards, I believe, on the ground. But I would go out there and if Akers gets dropped after this week, you go get him. We saw him last week, nine carries for 61 yards. This kid was drafted to eventually be a three down back. His pass protection's not bad at all, so the Rams just haven't used him. And I believe they could have used some juice last night in that ball game, him and Henderson splitting back there. But that wasn't the case. So that's five running backs. I tell you right now, you should go out and get heading into week seven with more injuries and buys. These are five guys you gotta get, and it's a pretty decent 